Stocks and shares investing is about taking risk. And today I'm going to share with you seven most common mistakes made by beginners or seasoned investors that you can break to become a better investor. So stick with me on this video, I'll share you the seven most common mistakes that I've seen and I've made as well and I've broken it and all to make sure I get better. Welcome back again to my video, Family Investment. And today I'm going to show you seven most common mistakes that an investor made that I've seen from my own journey, that I've seen from my client's journey, from my viewers and people that I share and, uh, and guide through. And these are the seven most common mistakes that always comes up. It also haunts me sometimes and I have to remind myself. So I hope that when I share these seven common mistakes, hopefully you can take a notepad, write it down, put it on the wall and make sure that you do not see these mistakes again and become an even better investor to grow your wealth. Number one, the first mistake that most commonly done by beginners and sometimes even myself as a seasoned investor is becoming a penny stock trader. Yes, buying cheap penny stocks because somebody has got a news somewhere saying that, oh, this company is great, it's got potential to grow. You put tons of money in and that it doesn't grow, it stays stagnant or it falls eventually. So penny stock is not the way to go. And to avoid this, you can go in by just putting your hard earned cash into blue chip companies, diversified portfolio and a good planning. So penny stocks is something that I do not do. I avoid it at all costs. And number two, the second most common one that I see again and again and again investors spreading too thin because of all these common apps you know no commissioning cost people buy a bit of everything you're not warren buffett with a 50 billion pound war chest you want to buy every company no you should just focus your stocks your top three stocks my personal rule is your top three stocks in your portfolio should exceed 75 percent of your overall holdings do not put 500 pounds in each and every stock after the next 10 years you're not going to see any growth you might as well just buy index so do not spread yourself too thin make sure that you focus on one two or three stocks and then jump in with large amount of hard earned cash in let it sit there for long term and let it grow so number two don't spread too thin and number three the most common mistake i see again and again and again of not diversifying not diversifying is one of the most common mistakes people get too excited they know about a specific industry they feel so biased that they know so much they go all in on a specific sector specific region specific risk asset or an asset class and then they get stuck because they've spent all their money in that area and forgot to go other avenues do not forget to diversify your portfolio and always monitor them on at least a monthly basis if you start moving into a bias sector region or stock okay and number four the most common trading too often not investing at number four trading too often and not investing you started off with a large sum of hard earned cash you plan that you're going to spend this much but you end up trading too often you end up buying and then selling buying and then selling buy high and sell low making that mistake Investing is about focusing on a specific stock that you believe that go long term, next 10, 20 years. And then you put money over time, every time it dips, you buy when it's cheap and hold them over a longer period. That's investing. Trading is just flipping, flipping, like flipping burgers. You're not here to flip burgers. You're here to make your money work for you while you sleep. And number five, most common mistake number five is not benchmarking yes not benchmarking against the index on a specific year just because you made 10 percent this year on your portfolio stocks doesn't mean you're winning if the s p 500 is making 20 percent that means something is wrong somewhere you have to look at your benchmark and you need to learn how to tweak 
steer the course of action and make sure you buy good quality growth stocks, good quality dividend stocks, and amount of investment, amount of risk to make sure that you beat the index. If you don't benchmark, you don't realize that you're behind the index, just go invest in the index. So unless you're benchmarking, then you know how fast or how slow you're running this marathon. If you're looking for a commission-free, low-cost UK ISA stock and shares trading broker, then I recommend you Trading212. Click on the link below, I've joined it. You can buy fractional shares, it's easy to buy, easy to use app for beginners and also advanced trending tools that you're looking for. So click on the link below and join me now at Trading212. Really, really good. See you soon. So, and number six, it took me some time to realize this. It took me some time to realize this. Number six is not buying on weakness, selling on loss. Okay, meaning that you always buy a specific stock when it's too strong and you buy it overpriced. Or you sell at a stock when it's too cheap before it actually matures into a real valuation amount. So you invest in a company that you can sleep on, that you can count on for 10 years or more, or else do not buy. Do not buy a stock if you think that it drops tomorrow and you're gonna sell it off tomorrow. Selling it on weakness and then buying on strength is completely wrong. Always buy low, sell high. Buy when it's good value. Buy a business when it's good value. Hold it for long and when it matures, when it gets rich, you get rich with that company. And finally, number seven is, I would say, the most common mistake of all for beginner season investors is not doing your own research. You wake up in the morning, you go on your phone, and you read a particular article saying stock number X will go exponential. You jump in and buy. Three months later, your money goes down. And you moan and kick yourself and blame the editor who wrote the article. It's not his fault, it's your own fault for not doing the research. It's your own fault, not your friend's fault that's been telling you a good story about a stock. It's your own fault. You have to do your research. You have to check the fundamentals, the technical analysis, the profit and loss, What understand what the business is about and know what you're buying for a long, long time. So do your own research is the most common mistake that everybody makes. Doesn't matter for who, doesn't matter. It's a recommendation for a friend, but do your own research because it's your hard earned cash. So that's my seven stock investment risk for beginners or seasoned investors, the most common one I hear. I hope you've taken a note and write them all down and make sure you do not repeat any of this again. And if you make sure that you eliminate all the seven, trust me, I promise you will be a better investor. So, hope to see you in the next video. Smash that like button, subscribe, and hopefully I'll share with you amazing contents like this in your investment journey. So have a good day. Bye.